Piloting helicopters remains one of the most challenging and rewarding activities available on the battlefield, but it's not completely intuitive, requiring plenty of practice to master. If you're new to helicopters, before attempting to transport your teammates or attacking enemies, spend some time on the test range. Here you can try out all three types of helicopters in a hostile free environment. For beginners, the Venom transport helicopter is a good place to start. Once you've hopped in the pilot seat, give the chopper a couple of seconds to allow the rotors to get up to speed before attempting to take off. Switch to the vehicle's external view to get a better perspective. Using the default console controls, gently push up on the left stick to increase rotor speed, causing the chopper to lift off. Next, push down on the left stick to decrease rotor speed, causing the helicopter to descend. Spend a little time simply increasing and decreasing rotor speed to make the chopper climb and descend. While hovering, nudge the right stick up to pitch the chopper's nose forward. This causes the chopper to fly straight ahead. However, whenever pitching the chopper in any direction, it's often necessary to apply additional rotor speed. Otherwise, the chopper will lose altitude and crash. Nudge the right stick down to pull to a hover. Continuing to apply downward pressure to the right stick causes the chopper to fly backward. Once again, apply a bit of throttle to keep the chopper from hitting the ground. To gauge altitude while in the external view, watch the chopper's shadow on the ground. In addition to rotor speed, the left stick also controls the yaw or heading of the chopper. While hovering, nudge the left stick to the left or right to make the helicopter rotate. This is how you can choose which direction you want the chopper to travel. Now let's put it all together. Once the helicopter is facing your desired heading, nudge the right stick up to begin flying forward. As the chopper begins moving, remember to apply a bit of throttle by pressing up on the left stick. This will prevent the chopper from hitting the ground. While flying forward and maintaining rotor speed, nudge the left stick left or right to adjust the helicopter's heading. Practice flying over the island, careful to avoid obstacles along the way. A first person perspective makes it much easier to gauge altitude and overall situational awareness. When flying a helicopter, you're a high value target for enemies. Therefore, practice flying fast and low to the ground, using trees, buildings, and other obstacles to mask your movements. Simply flying behind a line of trees or slipping behind a building may be enough to break the lock of a missile, helping you keep your chopper safe from enemy fire. Did you know helicopters can fly sideways? Pull to a hover, then nudge the right stick to the left. This causes the chopper to slip laterally while maintaining its same heading, but don't forget to apply throttle while pitching the chopper left and right. Practice flying laterally, side slipping left and right. This is useful for peeking around cover or situations when you want to keep your chopper's weapons facing a threat. Once you've got the hang of flying the transport helicopter, practice flying to different locations on the map. Attempt landing or hovering next to each of the three flags, or try landing on the rooftop of the three-story building. Transporting teammates to rooftops can make a big difference in some matches, so make sure you can stick a safe landing. Next, hop in the Viper attack helicopter and take it for a spin around the island. This chopper is faster and more maneuverable than the transport helicopter, so it may take some getting used to. Try to fly as low as possible without crashing into anything. Once you've gotten comfortable with the attack helicopter, circle strafe around the three-story building while firing rockets. When piloting the attack helicopters, it's best to keep your weapons facing your enemies. This way your gunner can deploy the chin-mounted turret and other weapons. But you never want to stop and pull to a hover. Circle strafing around an enemy allows the pilot and gunner to deploy their weapons while maintaining constant movement, making the attack helicopter harder to hit. Keep hitting the building with rockets until it collapses. Now you're ready to try the fast and nimble Little Bird Scout helicopter. These compact choppers are very maneuverable. Start by taking a lap around the island while maintaining low altitude and high speeds. The Scout Helicopter's miniguns are perfect for engaging enemy troops. Use the miniguns to engage a few of the metal targets on the shooting range. This is a great way to practice targeting infantry. And that's it. As you can see, the test range is a great place to practice your helicopter piloting skills. Come back here as you unlock new weapons for the attack and scout helicopters. It's best to try out new equipment here before joining a live match. The more you practice here, the better you'll perform when your teammates are counting on you.